Imagine a problem so difficult that it would take the fastest supercomputer longer than the age of the universe to solve. A puzzle so complex it's almost beyond comprehension. For decades scientists have dreamed of machines that could tackle these impossible challenges, but the limits of classical computing always stood in the way. Yet Google's new quantum chip, Willow, cracked it in under five minutes. This isn't science fiction or a scene from a futuristic movie. This is happening right now, in our world. Today, November 2nd, 2025, Google has announced a breakthrough that redefines what computers can do. The world is watching as the boundaries of technology are being shattered before our eyes. Willow didn't just beat our best supercomputers, it obliterated them, forcing us to rethink the limits of computation. The scale of this achievement is hard to overstate, it's as if we've leapt forward centuries in a single moment. This is more than a technical leap, it's a philosophical shockwave. The very nature of reality and our place in it is being called into question. Some experts, including Google's own quantum team, suggest Willow's power may come from tapping into parallel universes, running calculations across the multiverse and bringing the answer back to us. If true, this means our reality is just one thread in a vast cosmic tapestry and our technology is beginning to weave between them. We may have built a bridge to other worlds, not with rockets, but with a chip colder than deep space. The Willow chip operates at temperatures near absolute zero, where the rules of physics seem to bend and new possibilities emerge. This moment is a crossroads. Quantum computers like Willow could revolutionize medicine, materials, AI, and climate science. Imagine new drugs discovered in days, materials engineered at the atomic level or AI that learns and adapts in ways we can barely imagine, but with this power come risks, geopolitical tensions, security threats, and the potential for a new kind of arms race. The world's balance of power could shift overnight. And questions that challenge our sense of reality. What does it mean if our choices, our very identities, are mirrored in countless other universes? Are we alone, or just one of countless versions of ourselves? The multiverse theory suggests that every possibility is played out somewhere, and now we might have the tools to glimpse those other realities. The Willow Chip is the result of human curiosity pushed to its limit, a quest to build a machine that thinks in the language of the universe. It's a testament to our drive to understand, to explore, and to create. As we stand on the edge of this new era, our digital world, our secrets, and even our sense of self are being challenged. The questions we face are as profound as the technology itself. The universe just got bigger and weirder. Our understanding of what's possible is expanding at a breathtaking pace. Our journey to understand it has taken a quantum leap, and the adventure is only just beginning. Google's quantum journey didn't start overnight. It's the result of years of relentless research. Early chips like Foxtail and Bristlecone were baby steps, wrangling just a handful of qubits. The real breakthrough came in 2019 with Sycamore, a 53-qubit processor that achieved quantum supremacy by solving a problem in 200 seconds that would take classical supercomputers thousands of years. Sycamore was noisy and impractical, but it proved the concept, like the Wright brothers' first flight. The real challenge was building a fault-tolerant quantum computer, one that could correct its own errors. Every step since Sycamore has been about stability and scale. Willow, with 105 qubits, isn't just bigger. It's a leap forward in error correction and architecture. The road to Willow was paved with failures and stubborn persistence. It's a testament to the long game of science, revolutionary breakthroughs built on years of incremental progress. Willow stands on the shoulders of giants, both human and silicon. What sets Willow apart from every quantum processor that came before it? At its core, Willow is a superconducting processor boasting 105 qubits, nearly double the count of its predecessor Sycamore. This leap in qubit number is not just a technical upgrade, it's a fundamental shift in what's possible for quantum computation. In quantum computing, every single added qubit doubles the computational space, creating an exponential explosion in processing power. The difference between 53 and 105 qubits is not linear, it's transformative. Jumping from 53 to 105 qubits means a staggering 4.5 quadrillion fold increase in computational capability. That's a scale up that's almost impossible to grasp. 
But Willow's magic isn't just about quantity. Its qubits are engineered for stability, with a five-fold improvement in coherence time over previous generations. This means the quantum states last longer, allowing for more complex calculations. This enhanced stability lets Willow perform intricate quantum operations that were previously out of reach, opening doors to new types of algorithms and experiments. Its headline achievement? Solving a random circuit sampling problem in under five minutes, a feat so advanced it would take the world's fastest classical supercomputers an estimated 10 septillion years to match. That's a speed up so vast, it completely defies classical intuition and redefines what we think is computationally possible. Perhaps most importantly, Willow is the first quantum processor to demonstrate that linking more qubits together can actually reduce errors, not increase them. A breakthrough in quantum error correction that scientists have pursued for decades. For the first time, logical qubits are operating below the critical error threshold, paving the way for reliable, scalable quantum systems that could one day solve real-world problems. This achievement marks the third major milestone on Google's ambitious roadmap to building a million-qubit quantum machine, a goal that once seemed like science fiction. Willow isn't just faster, it's smarter, more stable, and it's the first quantum processor to point directly toward practical, real-world quantum applications. The quantum future is no longer just theoretical. With Willow, we have tangible proof that the next era of computing is already here, and for quantum computing, this is just the beginning of an extraordinary journey. Willow's power has reignited one of physics' wildest and most mind-bending ideas, the many worlds interpretation. This theory, once considered pure speculation, is now being discussed in the context of real, working quantum computers. The implications are both thrilling and unsettling, blurring the line between science fiction and reality. Google's Hartmut Nevin suggests Willow's unprecedented speed hints at computations happening across parallel universes. According to Nevin, the results we see may be the product of processes unfolding in realms we can't directly observe, but which are just as real as our own. The many worlds theory, first proposed in 1957 by physicist Hugh Everett III, says every quantum event splits reality into countless branches. Each possibility is realized, creating a vast, ever-growing multiverse where every outcome happens somewhere. Physicist David Deutsch later argued that quantum computers draw their power from this multiverse, performing calculations in parallel realities. In his view, quantum computation is a collaboration between all these universes, working together to solve problems that would be impossible for a single world alone. In this view, Willow splits reality into trillions of streams, each trying a different solution, then uses quantum interference to select the right answer in our universe. The process is like a cosmic search party, with each branch exploring a different path, and only the most successful outcome making it back to us. It's as if you had a septillion copies of yourself, each trying a key, and only the right answer survives. This analogy helps us grasp the sheer scale of quantum computation, where unimaginable numbers of possibilities are tested at once. This isn't just philosophy, it could explain how quantum computers explore computational spaces bigger than the number of atoms in the universe. The math checks out, and the results are starting to match what the theory predicts. The many worlds theory offers a staggering answer. Quantum computers get their power from the multiverse itself. If true, every calculation is a collaboration between countless realities, each contributing a piece to the puzzle. Willow may be the first experimental hint that we're just one of infinite parallel worlds. Its success could be the first real evidence that the multiverse isn't just a fantasy, but a fundamental part of how our universe works. Science fiction? Maybe not anymore. As quantum computers like Willow continue to advance, the boundary between imagination and reality grows ever thinner. Before we get carried away, let's add some scientific skepticism. Many physicists argue that you don't need parallel universes to explain quantum computing, just the math of quantum mechanics. The superposition of qubits is an exploration of mathematical possibilities, not a literal split into other worlds. Willow's random circuit sampling is a benchmark, not a practical application. Impressive but not world-changing yet. The multiverse is a philosophical preference, not a scientific necessity. For now, there's no experiment to prove or disprove the many worlds theory. So, while it's fun to imagine parallel universes, we may just be witnessing the strangeness of our own. 
Willow's breakthrough isn't just a scientific milestone, it's a geopolitical game-changer. The US and China are locked in a race for quantum supremacy, each seeing quantum tech as key to national security and global power. The US has ramped up funding and policy, making quantum a top priority. China is building massive research centers and launching quantum satellites, aiming to leapfrog the West. This competition is about more than who builds the first quantum computer. It's about setting global standards and controlling the ecosystem. A fault-tolerant quantum computer could revolutionize military tech, intelligence, and cybersecurity. Willow's success has raised the stakes, fueling a new technological cold war. The world is watching. And the race is on. The most immediate threat from quantum computing, the end of digital security as we know it. Today's encryption relies on problems that are hard for classical computers, but trivial for a powerful quantum machine. This is the so-called quantum apocalypse, the day quantum computers can break the codes protecting our banks, secrets, and personal data. Governments are scrambling to develop post-quantum cryptography, new algorithms that can withstand quantum attacks. The transition will take years, but the threat is already here. Adversaries may be harvesting encrypted data now, planning to decrypt it once quantum computers are ready. Even if we switch to quantum-resistant encryption tomorrow, today's secrets could still be exposed. Willow's achievement is a wake-up call. The timeline for this threat is shrinking. Upgrading our digital defenses is now a global emergency. The clock is ticking. Experts are split on what Willow means. Google's Hartmut Nevin champions the multiverse idea, seeing Willow as a probe into the nature of reality. Skeptics like John Martini's focus on engineering milestones, error rates, scalability, and practical progress. Competitors at IBM, Amazon, and Microsoft highlight their own approaches, but all agree, Willow is a leap forward. Visionaries like Elon Musk see quantum computing as a sign of civilizational progress, a tool to solve humanity's biggest problems. Security experts, meanwhile, are sounding the alarm. The quantum threat to encryption is now real and urgent. Willow is both a marvel and a warning. We're at a turning point. Willow has opened the door to a new era of computation and maybe a new understanding of reality. The possibilities are staggering. Quantum computers could cure diseases, revolutionize energy, and unlock new frontiers in AI. But the risks are just as real. A global race for dominance and the collapse of digital security. We must move forward with eyes wide open, pushing science, but also preparing for the consequences. This isn't just a story for physicists, it's for all of us. The universe has revealed a glimpse of its true power. Our job is to listen, learn, and act wisely. Keep asking questions, and keep looking up.